a second in favour of Hybrex. Game on. And it's a Belgian who has seized the initiative once again here. 140. And he's looking to press home his advantage here in leg six as well. 60. And if Ibrex can get through this game, it'll be his fourth appearance in the final of a PDC ranking tournament in the last 59. two, two and a half months. Had a three semi-finals and three quarter-finals to that list as well, and he's hit a nine data. 60. He has yet to win any of them, though. Losing one of the finals to Wade, as we mentioned earlier on. Can he go all the way? Well, he can. Will he go? 100. Yeah, I was tossing it up. Hybrex has earned over £62,000 in prize money since the start of June. It's been a very good summer and autumn for him so far. Plus, he's guaranteed 5000 for reaching this stage. Might be after a few more thousand pounds. Oh, he's gone for the 180 there, which I think was just a, a reflex because he hit the 180. He would have left himself seven. Uh, well, no. Sorry. It, it would have been, uh, would have been 22. Of course, yeah, sorry. But if you're going to hit trouble 17, gives you a nice little check Game out ahead of the way. He takes it. will be a 15 data, and he legs goes two to legs first. ahead for the Game first on. time in the match. We've got a bit of daylight between these two. Well, Peter Wright took out 180 to leave himself double one, didn't I he? Like earlier that. Today. I like that. Was that. Good. And Rob said, you know, it just got the crowd going, and um, he, he'd taken out double one double, in, the, in the leg before as well, so it was worth what. Well, Hindsight tells you it was worth doing because he pulled it off. I was watching that match in the players' room. Terry Jenkins was nodding very, a very yeah, all about that shot. Loved it. Terry the ball. Sixty. Yeah, there wasn't a great deal of room to work with there for Wade. Oh, is Kim Hybrex just getting into? A rhythm now. His average has been steadily climbing after a sluggish start from both men in this match, it has to be said. But Kim Hybrix has just been up in his game, and there you see there's 10 points in the averages. 140. 95 plays where well, it's up to 87 now after that visit. Is Kim Hybrix just building up? 44. Head of steam. Well, just to say that, he checks in a 44. But you can see 13, 15, 15, those last three legs for Kim Hybrex, the number seven seed. And that is uh, solid consistency. 60. Just the 60. Yeah, Wade has just uh, lost his way here a bit. Great dart. Lovely stuff. 125. Jay Drew 141. 141 and 144. Often see these at the end of nine darters. Not that we've seen one on the European Tour for a while. 100. Can Kim Hybrex take out 144? Has that just knocked him out of his rhythm? Can he find double 12? For 5-2, another break of throw and go to the brink. A victory. 132. Oh James, you require 41. Well, that was some way off. Well, Kim's smiling about it. Game shot on the seventh but what should have been 5-2, or uh, could have been 5-2, is 4-3 instead. Game on. A missed dart at double 12, and it was missed by some distance as well. Credit to Wade, though. Clutch finish from him. Kim Hybrex holding the pose after that dart. Like a batsman who's just creamed one through extra cover. <laughs> Have a look at that. You like that? Yeah. Drink that in, James Wade. 100. Two holds of throw is all Kim Hybrex needs. Find his 60. way through to the final. Just the 60, though. Opportunity for Wade. <laughs> oh, he's jumping all over this. 140. 
Yeah, ton 80 there. Would have given Kim a bit more to think about, but that's a good response by Hybrix. Down to a finish again, albeit a big one. Wade may not even be down to a finish, though. 60. And he's not. If you require 167. Now, this would be a killer for James Wade. And it's all gone a bit flat on this visit, actually. 44, 44 in the end. So, Wade, something to cling to here. But left 106, which is gettable. Kim needs treble 18. Now stay on the 18s. 91. And leaves himself very handily James placed Kwan, now. Wade came within a whisker of taking out 114 earlier on. And he gets the treble. But it was the topsy miss last time. And Eight. he misses it again. Kwan, He's keeping 32. faith with the double 20. Okay. Game's He's been on pushed the on this occasion. Well, I don't think we've seen Wade change. change from first game on. Yeah, Tops and tens. But I think having had such difficulty with double 20 in this leg, I posed the question to Rod earlier about... 60. You know, the... willingness of players to switch during a particular leg, and they'd be loath to do it, most of them, he said. 100. Well, look. Well, you Wade can't, you can't, you can't, you can't keep behind. on going, avoiding double 20. That's, what, that's basically what we're saying. Wade managed to come from behind when he beat Simon Whitlock. 100. He does have the throw, obviously, in this leg, and in the decider if it goes that far. Well, if you're going to have visits of 48, best do it now while you have a two-leg lead and it's on the way through. 140. Yeah. 137. Keeps him interested. Keeps Wade honest in this one. 105. And he's left himself at 96 again. Yeah, again, good use of that uh, final dart. Just gets him down to the prospect of a two-dart finish from here. 96. James, you require 96. On Shanghai for the match. Needs to find the treble. Doesn't do so, so high break. 56. Shanghai for 6-3 and a place in the final. Stay straight, Kim. He's going to be telling himself. Now he needs the trouble. Doesn't get it. So Wade breathes a little Whoa. sigh of relief and returns to the board. Forward. Double top he wants. Can he pin it this time? Double ten. It's his favourite. Game shot. That's James Wade. Wade. That's what he does. Double ten. Not a problem. To throw first. Game on. Just begs the question about. Yeah, you know, if you are going to miss double twenty, obviously come inside for James Wade. Then it gives you the chance to go for double ten. But well, yeah, the problem he's had with those. 106, 114, you're only ever going to get one dart. You're wasting a dart anyway, aren't you? So, yeah. Hey, I'm not in any position to tell James Wade how to play darts. Either. Seven major titles. That's Wade, not me. Yes. Just to be clear. Eight finals this year. Two of me won. Again, Wade, not you. Beat Taylor at the World Match Play in Blackpool. Yeah. Not many people have done that lately. Well, only person to do it in eight years. Oh, now then, Wade. 123. Oh, that's unlucky. Slight deflection there, wasn't it? Hybrix in control. This is the leg where he wants to win it. 100. If it goes to a decider, Wade has the throw. Well, Hybrix has won two of his matches this weekend by six legs to five. 140. He's a resilient... Tough character. He's done it a couple of times as well recently on the European Tour. Oh, look at this, though. Look yeah. at this. Is it the ball? Well, he's what done it again. He's hit him at 180 and left himself. The 22 that we talked about, yeah. 
Now, I thought that it was just an aberration. He wasn't thinking last time he did it. Maybe he was always going to do it. 138. So 22 for the match. 22. We will see. Can he hit it, Kim? Was it a wise decision? Game yes, shot. it was. And the Belgians in the final. A 6-4 victory. He's averaged 96.7 in the end. Kim Ivex, there's the aggression. His dream run continues. He knocks out James Wade. He is through to the final. And he looks up at the ceiling there. That might be a little message to his dad, who was kind of the inspiration for his other European Tour victory a couple of years ago. It came just after he'd lost his father. Maybe. He is about to be inspired to another European Tour victory, one that will not only land him 25 grand, but would see him at the Grand Slam of Darts in Wolverhampton, where they absolutely love. Hi ho, silver lining is a walk on. I can assure you. Hybrex in the final. It's either Sulevic or Peter Snake Bite Right who joins him. That's coming up in just a few moments here at the European Darts Grand Prix in Sindel Thing, and we'll grab a quick couple of words with Kim Hybrex. And we have two more games to come. Und es gibt die Vereinbarung, dass wir nach den Halbfinals, das ist die Bitte der PDC, keine Interviews führen, damit sich die Spieler jetzt auch gleich wieder vorbereiten können auf das Finale. Also nochmal, Applaus für Kim Heibrechts, den sehen wir also gleich wieder. Jetzt haben wir erst einmal das